Hello, this is Brian Hegney, instructor of game and interactive media design. So, okay, in the last one, I had just created the multi sub object material. And what we're going to do now is, well, I'm just going to render this for you. So if I select this cylinder 07 and I tap the zero button, remember that's render to texture. Um, if you d get that you're not actually able to render anything, make sure you go to render, render settings. Where are you? Render settings, render setup. And I clicked the um, assign renderer at the bottom and said scan line renderer for production. Previously it was on a different renderer. That's fine. I just needed to change it to scan line and say okay. Um, when I click zero, oh, I guess the last thing I want to do is add a skylight because I want to do shadows. I'm only going to render two different types of maps from here, the diffuse map and the sh uh, shadows map, just in case I have shadows here. So I'm going to want to create, uh, create a light, create standard light, and create a skylight and then left click anywhere here. Gonna make sure to turn on cast shadows and boost this up to 40. Okay. Right click to disable create skylight and now when I select that barrel and say zero, um, I'm not gonna pick anything to project onto it. That whole projection was merely for the normals map and I'm gonna fake that this time so feel free to fake it for yourself as well I went ahead and said to save this to my D drive I clicked the uh, file map name oh number one I guess I should say I'm gonna add the diffuse map and the shadows map add elements and each one I'm gonna set them to 256 at first and I'm gonna make sure I click the little three buttons navigate to where I want to save them for me that's my D drive for this spring semester 4432 gun I'm gonna set it to render text a folder called render text yes and I'm just gonna accept defaults there. For my shadows map, it's the same thing. Gotta go to the D drive. Let's just make this bigger. D drive, spring, 4432, gun, render texture. Okay. And when I render that now, it's gonna say, hey, didn't specify target slot. I know, I'm gonna overwrite shadows. Okay. And this is taking a little bit of time. This shadowy stuff, that's all inside of my barrel, I'm sure. And so I'm okay with that. All of these shadows, like, that's okay. That looks about right. And I'm only rendering this little cylinder. Because in my unwrapping, I actually set each component to unwrap itself. Okay. In that square. And so this is the square that it unwrapped itself in. And I'm going to say, okay, that did it. And if I were to open that up in Photoshop, oh, I bet my Photoshop is going to fail. Darn it. I'm going to pause this while Photoshop opens up and possibly fails. All right, so I'm going to open both of these maps that I just rendered out. All right, so here's my shadows map. And here is my diffuse map. And again, my diffuse map is really just yellow. Um, and that's okay for right now. Okay, good. I just wanted to know what they looked like. And if I were to kind of take this into Unreal Engine, or what I'm going to do is then, once I render all of these out, like I'm going to render this out. Now, these are all the same. So these are all going to use the same exact material uh, thing. And so if you have repeating elements, they can be unwrapped the exact same. That's totally fine. I'm going to unwrap, um, or I'm going to, I've already unwrapped everything. I'm going to render this to texture, render this to texture, render this to texture, this, and this. And I'll end up with one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve different 
maps all together from 3D Studio Max. Maybe that's too many to keep a handle of. Maybe it would have been smart to render it all smaller. Um, you know what? That's a real good idea, Brian. I'm going to change my mind mid-direction and kind of do that, okay? Um, so I'm going to end this video here. This video really just showed... Well, you know what? I'll go through. I'll go through the whole thing. Um, let's go into Photoshop. Now, so what the only thing we don't have is the normals map, and that's kind of okay. That's okay. What I want to do here is kind of play with the the diffuse mapping here. So let me take a look at that. This text, this, what this looks like. What does that, what does the surface of this gun actually look like? It looks like there's a bunch of worn down material here. Um, that turns into silver and then it's like a little bit of corroded a little bit there's a, this little dark line here so what I might do is try to kind of fake that and so I'm going to in here we can kind of see where that starts to be shaded I'm going to select I'm gonna first of all drag this shadows map into my diffuse map. I'm gonna let this kind of tell me now where do I need to have that silver? So I'm gonna select roughly about here. Yeah, and this is where I'm gonna paint the silver, but I'm gonna paint this in a new um, in a new layer by clicking the new layer button. And I'm going to use my paintbrush. I'm just going to use a light gray. I'm going to use my bracket keys. My left bracket makes a smaller brush, and my right bracket makes a larger brush. And I'm going to hold down shift left bracket to give myself a feathered edge. There. So that if I take this away now, let me actually. There. All right, if I were to do that, and let me just go ahead and. select the entire black portion of my map. I don't really like the black being there, so I'm going to command control X and get rid of all of the black. And I'm going to create a new layer below that layer, and I'm going to fill it with the, this gold color. Um, so I'm going to say fill with color, and I'm going to use the little picker device to pick the color there. Okay, and that way kind of everything gets filled in except for this, which is the silver I added. And now this is going to be my Cylinder 07 Diffuse Map PSD. It's in the same exact spot. And I'm going to save this as um, a Targa. And I'll call it 02. Now what I'm going to do now that I'm not going to show you is export this all out and bring it into Unreal Engine. I'm just going to show you the final effect, what that looks like in Unreal Engine. Okay, so this is me and my little gun barrel piece kind of brought into Unreal Engine. And this is what it looks like if you don't do anything to your shader or your material. It's basically just the that diffuse map that I recently made in Photoshop. You can see it right here. And you can see the little white on the end of that uh, little barrel thing. Okay, that's a terrible shader. It does not look good at all. Well, let's see what I could do to it. Number one, um, let's make it metal, right? So here I have this over here. Um, 
And I'm not going to do this in the final one. I'm going to tell it what metal to make. But you all know this. I can just use the number 1. And I got that by holding down the 1 key and left clicking here. And it's um, a single vector constant. And I'm going to set that to 1. And I'm going to drag that into metallic. And watch the object change in my viewport on the left here when I hit save. All right, that already looks kind of nice. Now that really looks metallic. The other thing I want you to keep an eye out for, whoops, let me kind of move up here, is I'm going to add, oh my gosh, where's your gall? There you are. Sorry about this. There we go. I'm going to add that ambient occlusion or the shadows to ambient occlusion. It's just going to update the shadows in the middle here in the center of that. There we go. Oh, looks even much better. And the other thing I want to point out is I actually changed the Photoshop here. I added a, um, a two layers. I painted a using a, this weird paintbrush, which is like a speckle, a uh, bonus chunky charcoal. I used that to kind of paint this silver stuff on here. And then I added just a layer on top of it. Um, of gold or the same gold as the bottom to kind of lessen it, I guess. I could have used a, an eraser, but I decided to just add uh, the gold on top of it. Um, and I saved that as another map, and I'm going to re-import that now with a new file. And I, that was called Diffuse03, and just see how that updates a little bit. The other thing I would do here would be to... Um, make a metals map and a roughness map that corresponded to where this was eroding. Um, and actually, maybe that's one thing I'll do is show, hey, what does that look like with a roughness map um, where the roughness is set to 0.25? And not a roughness map, I guess. It is a, um, a roughness value. It's probably just going to be a little bit more reflective. Wow. There we go. So beautiful. Um, oh, what a beautiful model and a beautiful material. Can't wait till it finishes. Now that's if I were to have created all of these different objects to have their own, um, their own map. And as I was kind of telling you, wow, if I have one, two, three, four, five, six, different sub-objects to this gun, and each one had its own um, normals map, diffuse map, shadows map. That's already 18 different maps I need to keep track of. Wow, that's a lot. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to add them all together, and you'll see what happens in the next video. All right, bye!